Great to get that live report from Lauren. Blake mm -hmm. is here now as we are continuing, of course, to follow Hurricane Melissa, which we know made landfall as a Category 5 yes. today. Mm -hmm. Has now been downgraded, but it's mm. still just really spewing damage to our south. Yeah, still a major hurricane, still going to impact other countries right. uh, in, the coming days. in the coming days across the Caribbean and then as it finally makes its exit into the uh, North Atlantic by the end of the week. But this is uh, quite the hurricane. Yeah. Uh, it's that often you see a hurricane this strong. Uh, and what I mean by that, we measure hurricanes generally by its minimum pressure, mm -hmm. meaning its centralized pressure. Uh, how low can it go at times? And to put this all in perspective, Julia, is that on an average day here in West Michigan, and really for much of the country, uh, our mean level C pressure is around 1,007 millibars. Mm. That's a normal day. To get down to 892 millibars is kind of unfathomable because you think about when we have these strong low pressure systems that come in during the winter, maybe at best we can see a low pressure system get down to about 980, 970 millibars. Mm. Uh, the blizzard of 1978, by the way, the low, that low pressure got down to 959 millibars. Mm. And that's one of the most historic storms in West Michigan history. You're talking another 70 millibars. Yeah. And I know it's hard to kind of think about what a millibar is if you're not a meteorologist, but again, the lower the pressure generally indicates the stronger the system. And we have only seen a handful of hurricanes that have rivaled the strength of Melissa. In fact, this is the third strongest hurricane in the Atlantic Basin, so all hurricanes in the Atlantic Ocean. Obviously, there's hurricanes, typhoons in the Pacific. Um, but in the Atlantic Ocean, this is the third strongest hurricane on record, tying the Labor Day hurricane back in 1935. More importantly, Melissa made landfall at its peak intensification. Mm -hmm. uh, Wilma and Gilbert did not. They were at it, their peak intensification over open water. Gotcha. They didn't make landfall at that uh, intensification. The Labor Day hurricane and Melissa did, however. So the Labor Day hurricane and now Melissa, the strongest hurricane for the Atlantic Basin to make landfall uh, uh, somewhere, again, in the Atlantic Basin. But you can see this radar loop, the satellite loop. Yeah, really impressive. Um, you can just see that, that eye. Um, it, it is a pinhole um, as it just buzzsawed towards Jamaica. It was going westerly yesterday at this time when you were talking to Colton by a couple miles per hour. It made its jaunt to the north uh, overnight and unfortunately did hit the western side of Jamaica um, as a Category 5 hurricane. Now, of course, with land interaction, friction, that does disrupt the processes of hurricanes. Mm. Uh, and Jamaica is very uh, mountainous, has high terrain. So that's impacting the hurricane somewhat as well. Uh, so that's why it's down to a Category 4, but this is about as high end of a Category 4 you can get at 145 miles per hour. So some impressive stuff there. Um, and this will continue over the next few days as it continues to lift to the north in eastern Cuba. Try to get the graphic to kind of go here. You can kind of see, though, over time, there we go, that our hurricane conditions will continue to go to the north and east as it impacts Cuba, eastern Cuba, by the end of tonight into tomorrow morning. Still is a strong Category 4 hurricane. Mm -hmm. This is nothing to mess with, yeah. uh, even as a Category 4. And then it will continue to weaken a little more as it interacts with the land over Cuba, but still a major hurricane over parts of the Bahamas uh, as we get towards tomorrow late in the day. And then this will finally lift into the Atlantic towards Bermuda as a weaker Category 2 hurricane. And there it goes. It continues to lift northward. So just quite the uh, system across the area, um, you know, for the the island of Jamaica. It's yeah. just unfathomable to think of. And of course, we'll find, you know, um, more video, more pictures, more yeah, reports. Yeah, we've got a live feed that we can pull up of a couple mm. of different scenes in Jamaica right now. And some of these will kind of go in and out. Sometimes mm -hmm. you can see the camera shaking um, appear, you know, starting to get dark there. Um, the top right shot I've kind of been watching all afternoon. You can really see mm. just kind of trees and, blowing and water. And, water the thing, and the thing about this is that while the whole island was impacted, a Kingston, their capital, not impacted as much as the western side of the island. Right. Kingston kind of sits on the southeastern side. part of the island. Um, the western side of the island, especially where the eye made landfall in the surrounding eye wall, that is kind of your ground zero mm -hmm. uh, for where you're going to, you know, by tomorrow is there's, you know, uh, better imagery through the air. 
Sure. Uh, we're going to see complete devastation, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's just uh, there's no way around it because of the uh, strength of this hurricane. And, you know, you just, you know, from a morality standpoint, yeah. you just feel so much for the people of Jamaica. But that western side of the island uh, definitely got the full brunt of Melissa uh, as that just not even just a Category 5, a super powerful Category 5 hurricane. Uh, some gust. Yeah, uh, those hurricane hunters were reporting 215 miles per hour. Unbelievable. Uh, you know, one of the flight uh, paths today from the hurricane hunters, uh, they had to do multiple loops in the eye because they felt that they had structural damage to the plane as wow. they were getting into the eye. I mean, these are some of the, you know, toughest people out there yeah, that fly to goodness. these hurricanes and they had to abort their mission because wow. of how strong the turbulence was in this storm. So this was... Uh, this is definitely going to be one, you know, not in a good way for the his history books. Uh, we will be talking about Melissa for a long time. I have a pretty good feeling that Melissa, the name, will be retired mm. from the National Hurricane Center because they cycle through these names every few years. Uh, Melissa probably will not be used again. And is that just because of the severity? Because of, of the historical storm? context that yeah. will surround Melissa going forward. They don't want any further confusion right. um, if you know, compared to other uh, storms that may have been named Melissa in the past. So they're going to retire that name most likely. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, it's definitely something that uh, you don't have a lot of words to describe. Yeah, it. and I mean, seeing mm -hmm. this video, you know, can only give us a glimpse of what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. I know yesterday Colton was mentioning how it was moving pretty slowly. And yeah. now when we talk about how it's, you know, just a couple of days going to make it so far, has it sped up at all? Or yeah, still yeah it, it, it is speeding up. And a lot of that just is based on, you know, your your overall pattern of the jet stream. Um, we've had a very blocky jet stream here in the Northern Hemisphere uh, over the past week. And by blocky, it's just meaning that there isn't a lot of movement mm. in our jet stream. Um, and because of that, that's what, a, that's what caused Melissa to drift so slowly to the west the last few days, only going two, three miles per hour. That's fairly slow for a hurricane. But again, it's all based on the blocking situation of our jet stream and now finally there's enough nudging going around in the overall jet stream yet yeah, yeah now it, it took that kick to the north and it will race to the north it is it interacts uh, with what we call the west release um, it, that's why it's going to accelerate so quickly to yeah. the north uh, by the end of tomorrow but yeah definitely uh, one Very that we'll powerful. be talking about uh, for a long time and you know what's unfortunate too is that it's been such a quiet hurricane mm -hmm. season that I think many people are saying ah we finally we got, got through lucky. we yeah. got through one you know and I know there's gonna be places that still think that because you know especially here in the United States they haven't had any direct impact per se uh, but that's not everyone that right. deals with hurricanes and you know that's the case for Jamaica today well we are certainly thinking of folks mm -hmm. there if folks watching here at home in Michigan have family there mm -hmm. or grew up there or any connection to there we are of course thinking about mm -hmm. you as this is a really difficult time far from here but still one that we are focusing mm -hmm. on all right we are going to take a quick break we will see you mm -hmm. next